y'all. So, um, excuse me and I apologize if uh, the background noise is too much for you, but it is very hot in my house today. It is very hot in New York, period. So, and um, I'm using a portable AC, which I do not recommend anyone buying. Like, these portable ACs are bullshit. When I tell you they're bullshit, they're bullshit. So anyway, um, I went to, I had to go to the hospital Sunday. Um, I had pain that lasted for three days prior before that, and it was getting worse and worse and worse. Let me turn on my light here. It's not for my light is unplugged. Oh, that's fine. So anyway, this is about to start turning dark here in New York. But anyway, this is enough light here. So, um, so it was in so much pain, I couldn't really get up, I couldn't really breathe, and I was scared. All I kept thinking was COVID, 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 because you know my doctor, she, you know, you guys know, like for those of you who are like, um, like loyal subscribers and you really listen to what it is that I have to say, you know that, you know, I explained um, to you guys before that I've suffered with severe um, anxiety, basically panic disorder since I was 15, so a really long time, um, a really, really long time. Can I say, so it'll be 27, so basically, um, 12 years, almost 12 years, it'll be almost 12 years, and I don't feel like I've, I've had, like, a break from this disorder ever since I began suffering with it, it came, um, to being not so much accepted, um, you know, from with being gay. Um, my family really didn't accept me um, being homosexual and black. You know how that is. You know how that goes, being black, especially black and homosexual, like, does not mix. Um, and then growing up in some of these environments, these neighborhoods, um, so I grew up, like, in a really poor neighborhood. I grew up really poor. I didn't grow up like poor, so I'm lying. God, please forgive me for lying. But like my, I mean, my mom, she always was able to give us. My stepfather had a really good job. He did. Um, he worked with construction. He worked with like PC, like mainly construction in like that type of area, which is something that I'll be getting ready to work on with like labor costs and labor head and all that stuff for accounting but anyway i'll be able to see what it is that he does but i'll get more in depth on like the, the financial part of the side to his job which i'm excited about so um anyway i'm just laying here for a couple of days in excruciating pain and i don't know if it has anything to do with um the fact that i am on clonazepam which is also Xanax, um, out of the benzodiazepine family, you have a lot of benzodiazepines. One is like Ativan. The, the ones that are like uh, mostly, the, the, the ones, the ones that, are, that people are mostly familiar with uh, is um, Ativan. Uh, first you have Valium and then you have, this is, okay, this is, I'm gonna go from like least strongest, weakest to basically strongest, okay? So you have Valium and then you have Ativan and then you have uh, basically your Xanax to uh, clonazepam. Clon uh, clonazepam or clonazepam is actually much more stronger than um, lorazepam, which is um, Xanax. And then you have Librium, and you have like um, some benzo that they will, that I've had before whenever I was going for a back procedure because I have two hernias just as well. Um, I don't know if I got that from um, after graduating from college because I did two years as an accountant in school and I got an associate's in science and accounting but I was never able to get a job for that so I'm hoping I want to, if I am, you know, once I do, I do go back to take classes that I will do well and, you know, will finally be able to do something that, you know, would make me happy, that would excite me. YouTube, you know, I would not really believe like YouTube. But I think it would be cool to just have that degree and to be able to do do accounting work and add that to the channel as well, and not only bring you um, discussions about like skincare. So I won't like um, like 
great news to come, black news to come out and great news to say, oh, you don't like your skin. But what, what, what I will be saying um, now in order to help my channel grow even more is just to talk about regular skin care. So if I do talk about skin lightening, it'll be basically me mentioning about how to balance your skin tone how to have an even skin tone, but I won't be mentioning about anything with whitening the skin or lightening the skin. Say if I mention it, you know, talking about um, glutathione, I won't say it'll help whiten your skin, but what I will say is that it'll help to balance out your skin tone, and it does help some people who suffer with acne and severe forms of acne, which I have a severe form of acne. I suffer with cystic acne, which is, is very severe. So anyway, Back to my medication, um, I, I belong to a group, um, benzo, a benzodiazepine group, which is very helpful, and the people are so helpful, just like some of you, like I'm, you know, like you reach out to me, and you give me so much, like, loving feedback, I thank you so much, and I love you guys so much, it's like, this is just like a 24 hour thing, where I can just get, like, feedback and love. Like from people who understand like exactly what it is that I'm going through because benzo, especially tolerance, which is what I'm going through, is very hard. I've been on my medication for a very, very long time and it starts to get to the point where it doesn't really work as well anymore. So one of the things that benzos work for, especially Valium, and you might get from pain management is Valium. It helps uh, to relax your muscles. All of them are known to help you to relax the muscles. Sorry for the background noise, especially with the AC, but Valium is definitely one of them, okay? So, but I've been on clonazepam. That was the first medication I was ever um, pres uh, prescribed. And I've been prescribed it for years. And it's getting to the point where um, it's not working. So I'm getting like a lot of bodily pain. I'm getting a lot of side pain. The first thing I started, you know, I was thinking, I was thinking, was like, oh my God, Lord, COVID, COVID-19. Because the, like, the bus is here, like I don't have to, um, get on a bus, but I, you know, choose to save money because right now the buses are like free here in New York, and because of the fact that the buses are free, you have fucking people jumping on the buses like hot potato. I mean, like, you cannot find a bus right now, right now, here in New York that is not packed. And people, some of them don't. They come on a bus and they don't wear their mask. But I'm like, you can wear your mask. And that's okay because there's a lot of people out here who are taking they're taking a lot of precautions like me. They're taking they're just cautious. They're being very cautious. They're taking care of their stuff. As soon as I get in the house, I'm getting I'm getting I'm in a tub, I'm washing my hands, sprinting stuff down. And I seen this one story right here on YouTube with this guy that was caught it and he was saying how he took the like washing steps and um, still caught it. So the first thing I was thinking, like, oh my god, you know, I get on a bus and I have been getting on a bus a lot lately because my doctor has me on a two three fucking script instead of wanting to just rate me a one week to keep me safer and from not catching this thing. I know the Lord is here, you know, he's protecting me, you know, from this thing. So I'm like, I haven't recorded yet, so I know that it must, it has to be, you know, Jesus that's definitely protecting me with it. But I'm like, the doctor, she just does not care. And to have to go out every two weeks just to pick up a script is putting yourself in a lot of things, especially if you get on um, the bus. I'm not sure about the trains. I'm sure the trains are on this packed right now, like the buses are, because the bus, since the buses are free, um, the trains are definitely not as packed as like the buses are. So, um, but I woke up in a lot of pain, and I think that it's, thank God, not, it wasn't due to COVID or anything like that. Because it was coming from my chest and it felt like I couldn't breathe. Like every time I, I took a breath, like it hurt so bad. And I'm like so thankful that I'm feeling like thank, thank so thankful to God that I'm feeling so much better today. I took some Advil for the last couple of days and I've been able to get rest. So I've been feeling, you know, just fine. I know you guys wanted to, uh, some of you wanted to update, you know, just to let you know that how I'm doing. So hopefully some of you will ask. And you'll be able to get this video because something is for YouTube and it's just like a lot of people were just not getting my videos. I don't know. I was supposed to have reached out to um, YouTube on um, Twitter to find out what the hell is going on with my account and why I'm, you know, is my um, views so low compared, compared to like that amount of subscribers I have um, because something is not right here, you know, like they, they are growing but it's supposed to be a little bit more like 
Um, but anyway, I'm okay and I'm fine. No, it wasn't COVID. Um, I had my urine checked. I had my blood checked. I was a little dehydrated as well as I believe because they gave me some IV fluid and um, I was there in that hospital for like six hours and I just couldn't take it anymore. It's just so I ran out, made an extra video on Saturday once to that when I was walking home and just went home and um, got some rest. I took um, some of my anti-anxiety medication and relaxed and everything was all good. I was able to play my games. I was not really able to play my online. I was, the only thing I could really do was just like, um, just like watch videos on YouTube, which is like my most favorite thing to do, right? Since but just when partner with them is that you would think that would make sense. So I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos and um but I'm doing a lot better today and I'm hoping that I won't get anything like that anytime since that happened to me a couple of months ago where I sprained the muscle in my back and it was the most oh my god and it was this one time where um I had caught a contusion on the right side of my chest. I don't know how this happened, but I, it's, it has a lot to do with, with benzodiazepines such as Xanax, and it has a lot to do with the clonazepam. And I was trying to explain to my dumb bitch doctor, Xanax, please don't demonetize me, but these doctors, just they just don't care. Like, you know, you're giving people stuff. Like, I was never told what it was that I was, you know, my doctor just threw it. You know, like on my third um, semester as a freshman, she was like, oh, here, yeah, take this, it'll help you study, because, you know, my panic attacks. Like, my first um, semester, my first two semesters, I was okay. But during the, the, the third one, I started freaking out, because I had, like, a psych class and some psychology classes, and I started going through, like, the little, um, I don't know how to say the word, exponential or ex something crisis, ex like what you just ask about reality and life and all of, you know, things that, that most young people go through. So it scared me to death. Like my chemistry classes made me felt like dirt, um, which we actually are, you know, some dirt. I mean, if you are a Christian, us, you know, or you follow God, that's what you believe in, right? We are some dirt. So, but it made me felt like I was just, just this tiny, like nothing. And, um, it had me panic, like I panicked like how, but I still aced that class and I was barely even like coming to class but I was still coming and giving my homework, it's just that I was avoiding the class because I was terrified, but anyway I'm okay, so um, there will be some more discussion, it'll be a little while, so I just want to give my, some, my, myself some time and help. But um, I'm okay, you know, and I just want to thank a lot of those for you who really care. I truly do love you, and I just want to thank you so much for being here. So, anyway, for those of you who are new to my channel, I just want to thank those of you who are um, new to my channel. For those of you who are not new, go ahead and subscribe. Um, also, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and leave a comment underneath the comment section of the page. And let me know. Let me know how you guys um, day went. Let me know how your evening is going. I'll see you soon. I'm using a carrot soap right now. I have real African carrot soap, and it works really well. I used it like a couple months before, before this whole stupid COVID thing happened, and it had my skin shutting. I believe that's why my how my skin lightened up a lot, like as well, because I had like skin shutting the Lord. Um, and it's a really good soap, but it's really powerful and it stings, so that's what I'm being careful about. Like, especially with you, this is the type of soap you don't want to use it, like, in your private areas or anything. So, um, you want to be careful using it too much on your face. I can, you know, every time I use it, you know, after just a couple of washes of using it on my face, it's only been, like, three times already. Like, I can feel, like, the sting, the sensation, just occurring, you know. So, but anyway, I hope all of you are doing the care of this and um, I will definitely be discussing about that carrot soap because I think that um, carrot soap and helping to balance the skin tone like the next big thing is really, I see like a lot of companies are adding like um, carrot extract into their, like, their skin care routine. There's nothing new, but it's like really starting to become like something that like definitely yeah. Like when high like hyaluronic acid started to, you know, it was it's been out for a while but then it started becoming this big thing, right? So 
I basically had I worked. Anyway, take care. See you all later.